In this video, we're going to be building a global wrapper component and adding it to every single one of our stories as a decorator. Now, a global wrapper component is a great sort of way of wrapping each and every one of your children components in a logical parent wrapper. Now, this would be a great use case for if you had a Apollo provider or a theme provider in our case, or if you wanted to add a a certain element to every single story. Um, maybe you wanted to add a style sheet to every single, single story. Uh, using a global decorator and building a global wrapper will allow us to do this and inject our code into every single story in our pattern library. So to get started with our global application wrapper, we first need to import some new packages. Uh, the first one is we're going to import a new name uh, function called add decorator from Storybook React, and we're going to import React from React. Now, currently, all our configuration is doing is pulling in the stories from our directories, but what we want to do is we want to wrap all of our stories in a global wrapper which will repeat components across stories. Now, to do this, we'll have to create a React component to wrap them in, so I'll call it const global wrapper and will be passed in a prop called story fn. Um, and what this will do is it will be the story that we're referencing. So if we opened up in the storybook instance, say the text one, it would return that component and that component is what's available as a function. So we can then return a div with story fn and call it, and we'll put in a h2, hello world. Now we've got our global wrapper, but we now need to add it to our storybook configuration. So we'll use add decorator, and then reference the component that we just created. Now if we go ahead and run npm run storybook, what we should get is all of our components, once it's booted up, will be wrapped in a div with a h2 above it. So just take a second. So now all of our stories are wrapped in an invisible div with the h2 hello world. And we could go ahead and modify this component to say, lorem ipsum sucks. And what that should do, is add lorem ipsum sucks to every component. Now, this is pretty um, pointless because we don't want to be referencing visual components that are repeated across every single component. That's not the point of a global wrapper. Instead, we'll remove those and we will instead just keep it as a div. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and shut down Storybook and install a new package called styled components. So I'll run npm i styled components. And what styled components is, it's a CSS in JavaScript library. I'm sure most of you old school developers will hate the idea of CSS in JavaScript, but I love it. And what it allows me to do is write CSS, which is tightly coupled to components. Um, and to make use of start components in its most performant way, you would use theme uh, values or theme variables, which are accessed from a high order component. And in order to do all of that, you need to wrap every single component as a child of a theme provider. So I'll explain all this in a moment, but for now, just install start components. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import the theme provider from start components. And we're going to go ahead and write our theme provider as a wrapper. And what the theme provider does is it accepts one prop, which is the theme we are providing it. So I'll write theme equals theme default. And I'll create the theme default just above which is an object and we'll have primary equals Rebecca purple. And that should be all we need. 
And if I go ahead and run npm run storyback, uh, okay. I was wondering why it didn't change the formatting. Um, so I had a semicolon there. If we run npm run storyback again. Cool, so we have our components and you can't see any visual changes because everything at the moment is just in our sort of particles realm where it's all logical data being used and there's no changes to the visual display. Um, what we could do is we could write a global style. So we'll bring in create global style from style components. And we will write a new global style component, which will be global style. And we will write it oops, as so. And what we can do is we can say body props props dot theme dot uh, primary. And we'll set this to background color. So what this is essentially doing is we're saying theme default is an object with props of, well, of keys primary with the value Rebecca purple. And then we're creating a global style component, which has the CSS body background color. And then we're tapping into the props being passed, which is being passed down from this prop object. And so the primary is going into theme provider theme provider is helping write global styles and then we're bringing in the rebecca purple as the background color so we can go ahead and write this create global styles as a child of our theme provider and if we go ahead and go back to our stories and give it a refresh you can see our buttons are now sitting on top of a rebecca purple background so that's how we write a global style um, and global decorator. I would prefer to write these as separate components. So we're going to go ahead and put those in our particles directory. So we'll have theme default JSX and we will export this theme default and create global styles. So what we want to do is we want to break these up and this will be global styles. And we'll keep theme provider in here. We'll bring it to the top of our imports. And because we've got our other logical components existing in our particles directory, we now have to import them. So we'll import, um, I guess we've got two, don't we? We've got theme default from particles theme, theme default. And then we'll change this to global styles. So now if I go back, refresh, cool. So that was a really basic example of how you can wrap all of your stories in a global application wrapper. You could use this to import, say, an Apollo provider if you're using a GraphQL interface and interacting with that with your application. Or if you had any, I guess, it's all to do with data and logic that you want repeated throughout your uh, stories. Or if you had CSS files that you wanted to import on every component to reset the browser styles. Um, yeah, just any sort of global layout rules that you want, you would use a global decorator. And now we've got one for our CSS in JS library.